Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I'm here to show you the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the special edition from, well, it's actually from Holland, before you ask. And uh, this is a release which I, you know, it's one of those releases which I wasn't really sure if it, if it actually existed because I had only been able to find uh, a single cover image of this. It was just a stock photo, but you know, I've been looking around for this ever since. Then suddenly, you know, favorite search on eBay, it just popped up. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, two disc out of print digipack version from Holland and I actually was able to pick it up sealed and it didn't cost me more than like I think it was like 10 euros or something including the shipping so awesome deal, so happy to find it and as you can tell I've actually did, decided to keep it uh, partially sealed uh, but the uh, cover is actually highly glossy as you can tell and it's uh, very sort of reminiscent of the uh, old UK special edition digipack they actually look quite similar so, uh, yeah, just turned over. We have the uh, title printed on the spine here. And turning over to the back cover. As you can tell, you basically have the same shot as on the front cover with, like, you know, just a sort of blood spatter with kind of like a spotlight on it. But uh, on the back here, the, uh, the chainsaw has been removed. So, I, I don't know what the, you know, idea is there. But, yeah, that's what they did. And then, as you can tell, you know, it's a two disc set. So, there's just a bit of specification for the contents. The 1974 original movie, and you know, then there's the Shocking Truth documentary, and uh, yeah, yada yada yada. Nothing really, you know, exclusive here. It's basically the same kind of features that you have on uh, a bunch of different releases by by today. But you know, I mostly collect these because I'm interested in packaging, and you know, I I enjoy my cover alterations. And um, the UK version is you know entirely different in the uh, interior design. So anyway, here we have the front of the digipack, or well, front. I don't know whatever you want to call it. It's this side. You know, you can tell what it looks like. You can actually continue by folding this out. Just gonna lay it down flat. Okay. Now, like I said. Very different. I haven't seen another Digipack version which has this particular design. Uh, you know, I've seen basically, you know, it's obviously based on a lot of the same um, uh, graphics, you know, like the original uh, screenshots from the movie and stuff, you know, that's that's things that yeah, I've seen a lot of times. Uh, but like, for instance, this picture here, uh, you know, that's not something that I've commonly seen used as part of the artwork. And you also have some weird kind of blood dripping down. It's not a not a ridiculously well presented, uh, you know, artwork, you know, I'm not really crazy about this whole sort of fake uh, torn part here or the odd blood which look, you know, it's, it's quite, it's an early graphic design, I mean everything wasn't always as well designed and as you would hope, but yeah, whatever, I'm standing around here holding the discs. Here is the first disc, the movie disc. And as you can tell, you know, they are quite similar in their design. The first one is basically a tone of red, and the second one, which is the special feature disc, uh, is sort of a same design but in a yellow tone. So, yeah, definitely different and, you know, fun to have in the collection as a curiosity. And as you can tell, if I move it up close here, on this uh, inside we just have, you know, it, it's basically the, the same uh, graphics as we have on the... Uh, back cover, you know, if I just hold it up like this, you'll see what I'm talking about. See right there? It's basically just the same listing for these features. And can just turn it over and check this side. You'll notice that, you know, here we have uh, another image which I haven't seen too often. Sort of a black toned image here with just leather face in the background. And I mean, that is a classic, you know, design. I've seen this particular image a lot. But never in this particular style, in sort of reddish fashion, with just a black tone, and then just have a film by Tobe Hooper. So, yeah, definitely odd because this isn't, you know, this isn't the the front cover of the Tiki Pack. It's just like a, just like the back side, I guess. Or well, you don't actually, you don't actually see this because this part is actually folded in, so you never actually see that part as sort of any kind of exterior. So, kind of odd because it's, you know, I don't know, it doesn't really have a title. Just you know, film by Tobe Hooper. And you know, just starring, so yeah, kind of odd, but I like it. And here we have the sort of classic back cover, the features again, and a bit of a plot line printed in Dutch, obviously. Uh, but anyway, like I said, uh, so happy to finally get this because I was, you know, beginning to worry and wonder if this actually existed. Uh, so uh, yeah, just totally stupefied and surprised 
that I just managed to stumble upon this brand new sealed uh, on eBay and also for the awesome price of just like 10 euros so yeah can't believe I finally own this uh, so cool and uh, can't really say thank you because you know there's no one to thank thank you to the eBay guy who sold it to me <laughs> I don't know anyway that's it for me today really hope you enjoyed this and as usual hope to see you all next time <laughs>